Hello, I'm Jeff Lawrence. I'm just enjoying another beautiful day in Temecula. You know, there's so many things to do and see in our incredible city. Some hidden gems you might not be aware of. In fact, we're gonna cover three of them today in this month's episode of Around and About Temecula. So sit down, enjoy the show, and you may just learn something new. I'm sure most of you know about the Old Town Temecula Community Theater and all the amazing programs that it has to offer, especially if you've watched our show. But you might not know a lot about the adjacent building, The Merc, and a very talented jazz singer, as well as Temecula arts and culture legend. Her name is Sherry Williams, and she has a wonderful story to share with us. Her dedication to music and the arts in Temecula is astounding. Let's stop in and see what she has to say. Hi, my name is Sherry Williams and I am the current president of the Temecula Theater Foundation. So uh, when I got here, I offered my services to the Arts Council. I called and said, I'm new in town and I can help you. I'm happy to help you. I'll stuff envelopes or I'll sing. <laughs> I recommend you take me up on the singing part because that's what I do best. So that began my work in earnest in Temecula. So consequently from that, I began to meet more people involved in the theater and I began to spend more time here actually, physically. And um, I became friends with Bruce Beers who had really helped design the new structure. He said, all right, I think I'd like you to curate a series. Every Thursday, we chose Thursday. Jazz, real jazz, no smooth jazz. It started quietly because no one knew about it and I started sending out emails and you know so helped to make this grow I mean there were nights that we were in here there were six people and I still had to pay the band you know so it, uh, it it's been an effort it's been a long time coming it took about a year for it to really get to the point where we had uh, almost enough people to really pay the musicians so we just kept doing it. but it was the right thing it was wonderful the people loved it it became family. If you come in here on a Thursday night, you can feel it. A lot of people know each other because they've been coming here for years to the jazz because I'm bringing in people who would never come here, uh, who wouldn't even know about it. And once they do come here, they want to come back. Some of them are famous and they don't get paid nearly as much as they would someplace else. But they're coming to a place where the people come to hear them. It's a listening space. They show them respect. And no musician wants anything less. That's what they want. They want to be heard and they want respect. And that's what this audience does. And it's like a family. I don't have to shush people. In the early days, I may have had to shush somebody. I don't have to do it because the guy next to him is going to do it. Shh. <laughs> the music. You know. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that I'm helping to keep this building alive because Building is only as good as what it's used for. You know, it's, it's a thing, it's a shell, but people come in here and, and bring it to life. And this is something that I think is really valuable for the people of Temecula because this, is, this level of music is something you just wouldn't get in a place like this. So I am so grateful to be able to do this. I'm just, grateful is the word. It's gratitude because I'm just calling friends, people that I know, people with whom I've worked, uh, people that I've toured with, you know, or people that I've met because of people that I've toured with. And they tell their musician friends, you know, there's a club out in Temecula, you really ought to do it. You know, if she calls you, go. You know, so uh, it's taken 11 years, I think we've been doing this. And now you can't get a ticket unless you buy it ahead of time. 
So that's one thing that I'm happy that I can say that I, I have contributed to the landscape of, the, of Temecula. So because of the family and what we've done and who we are and what I've done on my whole life, you know, what I've learned and, and my ability to bring in talent and their ability to appreciate it and to give, it's just created a magical situation. It's just magic. It's really magic. You have no idea how grateful I am to be able to leave this, to do this. It's just amazing. So anyway, that's Jazz at the Merck. I'll spend night and day. I'll spend night and day dancing with you. Dancing with you. Dancing with you. Now you know some history about our famous Temecula resident, Sherry Williams, and a little bit about Jazz at the Merck. How about I share something new with you that you might not be aware of, and it's located right here in our backyard, fishing at Harveston Lake. Permits, tackle waste dispensers, designated fishing areas, these are some of the new things you're gonna wanna know about before you cast your lines out here at Harveston Lake. Hello, my name is Stacy Fox. I'm with the City of Temecula Public Works Department. I am the Supervisor of Landscape and Maintenance for our park systems. Today I'm here to talk to you about Harveston Lake and the lake improvements that we have completed. We replaced the two aeration fountains at each end of the lake. Uh, each fountain uh, sprays a 20-foot column of water into the air and also included in these fountain is LED lighting that illuminates the column of water at nighttime. Also these fountains Together, they circulate approximately a half a million gallons of water in the lake each day, which is beneficial for the lake as it airifies the lake and keeps the lake healthy. We also upgraded the lake system by adding a circulation system to each end of the lake. These areas are to improve the circulation where we often see stagnant water. The two 10 horsepower circulation pumps take water from the middle of the lake and push it out on the ends of the lakes which improved the circulation and the aeration in these stagnant areas. Landscape improvements were also made around the lake edge. We've included some decomposed granite areas that include uh, granite boulders and DG paths that provide space for fishermen to enjoy or just for people to come and sit and enjoy the wildlife that frequents the lake. My name is David Goss. I'm 13 years old and I'm part of Troop 8833. I'm currently working on my Eagle Scout and for my Eagle Scout project I built monofilament recycle bins. I emailed the city council looking for a project and they recommended this Eagle Scout project and they gave me the instructions on how to build it and I researched a little bit and, and we set a time and date and built them. When we got here we built and installed six of these with friends and family and how they work you just put in fishing lines and hooks and they keep the part clean and they also keep fishing lines out of the water. I'm very happy about the outcome of this project. I think it worked out really well and I'm glad that I could help keep the park clean and I'm grateful to all the people who helped me organize and coordinate this project. Hi, I'm Mike Wooten, Community Services Supervisor, and I'm here with some information on the new Harveston Lake fishing rules and permitting process. So as of January 1st, the City of Temecula once again opened up fishing to the public with a few new rules, and you'll also need to purchase an affordably priced permit that's good for 12 months. So while a state fishing license isn't required, a city-issued permit will be needed for any resident over 16 years old and for anybody who's not a Temecula resident. Also, in order to ensure fishing remains sustainable, only catch and release fishing using artificial lures and barbless hooks will be allowed. This means no bait will be permitted and all hooks need to have their barbs removed. You can also purchase barbless hooks at most fishing supply stores. These new rules are intended to increase the odds of survival for the fish caught and also help keep the lake clean. 
you'll also notice some new signs around the lake. These signs list the lake fishing rules, the designated fishing areas, and it also provides a link where you can purchase your permit online. Now, while you're out here fishing, please remember to use proper fishing etiquette. This means don't leave your line unattended, exercise care when casting, dispose of your trash in the designated receptacles, stay out of the landscaped areas, and definitely don't introduce any aquatic animals or vegetation to the lake. These new rules, the permitting process and lake improvements were necessary in order to keep Harveston Lake open for fishing going forward. For more information or to purchase your permit, please visit TemeculaCA.gov slash Harvest and Fishing. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you around the lake. That was very informative. Fishing at Lake Harveston is a great chance to get outside with the family and spend some quality time together. Now it's time to hop in the truck and head on down to the CRC and meet up with our Youth Advisory Council, or YAC as they like to call it. This program is open to teens 14 to 18 years of age that want to help represent the local youth population here in Temecula and some other exciting things we're about to find out about. Hi, I'm Veronica Nguyen and I go to Great Oak and I'm 16 years old. Um, I found out about Yak from a poster in the CRC um, when I was working at the summer day camp. My favorite Yak event would easily be um, the High Hopes uh, Halloween event because of how the community is coming together in one area and dressing up in all their costumes and just having fun. Um, how can Yak can help you in the future is it help, it, you get hours when you go to the meeting and also you, you, you feel like you're part of the community because of all the high hopes and skip events we attend to. And this isn't also including our intergenerational tech program we have in the Senior Center. My name is Cody House, Management Aide with the City of Temecula Human Services Division. We're proud to offer a council consisting of high school students ages 14 to 18 with a similar goal in mind. That is to leave a worthwhile legacy. We are proud to have implemented two new programs, one of which is our intergenerational tech program where we teach seniors how to use their tech devices. One of our upcoming programs is our Yak Peer Buddy program, where we invite high school students with special needs to come out and be peer buddies. We look forward to leaving a legacy of one that is worth leaving behind. For more information, please visit our website at temeculaca.gov slash TCSD. See you there. This month is filled with a host of exciting fun field programs and events you won't want to miss. Be sure to mark them down on your calendars. These were just a few of the activities happening this month in Temecula. We encourage you to view the entire lineup of TCSD events at TemeculaCA.gov slash TCSD. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope to see you around and about Temecula. Mm -hmm.